Hi, I'm Tiger Woods with Scotty Scheffler and Tommy Fleetwood. This is Tiger Talks. Golf shop. Well done. Golf shop. Oh, oh, oh. exhibition. He's pretty happy with that. You think? <laughs> it's awesome. See? <laughs> Hope you guys got that on camera. All right, Tommy, we got 270, call it 265 yards downwind off the wind off the right. Uh, probably a five wood for you? Uh, a pretty stock five wood. It's like a 250, 255. On an average, everyday so. Eddie. Normal five wood carriers, how Two, far? Like 250, 255. Mm -hmm. So anywhere around that number, that's just like a stock five wood. So I feel like it should be good for, what is it, 270? 272. 272. And your normal shot is a right to left, left to right? Right to left. Right to left. Like yep. falling off that uh, tree that's just to the right of the yep. pin. I <laughs> hope you guys got that on camera. That's so good. Been high. So perfect. Hot. Great shot. You go next, Scotty, or should I carry on? While you're hot. While I'm hot, what are the All other right. pins? It's 76 left pin. Now, what shot would you see to that left can, pin? Can you carry it? If you carry it a straight ball, I feel could like you carry I, it downwind that I far? Think if it gets in the air, I think like yeah. hitting like a. Rather than. Um, I wouldn't really want to try and hit like a big draw or in a, a downwind. I feel like yeah, I don't like it, that Yeah, the draw stay in the air enough That's what I'm downwind? Like, like, I yeah. don't, maybe with a fireball, but I still wouldn't fancy like when you get downwind, you yep. never feel like you want to like... It'd be coming in too flat, it wouldn't it? Yeah. So some kind of high when it starts it's, off at one of the right pins yeah. and just uses well, the wind right. to ride it a little mm -hmm. bit. It's a good description. shot I mean when you're two you're 276 out um, green's good <laughs> so yeah. we're not trying to be uh, I'm not granted people think we're, we're tour pros and trying to be specific but when you're this far out if you hit the green that's still a hell of a shot yeah, oh, yeah. thank you Tom S Scotty I got three wood because I don't I don't actually play a five but I play a three iron sure I, my three wood probably doesn't go as far as a lot of guys three woods okay um, because I like to hit a lot of different shots with my three wood. Okay. I, I pretty much only, I'll hit a straight shot to a fade off the tee. And okay. then if I need to draw it, I'll hit three yeah. wood most of the time. Yeah, yeah. Got, totally got that yeah. part. That's how I play most of my shots. Yeah. It's funny, some people like a really hot three wood now, don't they? Yeah. Like, but I, or, I, or a mini driver. I, or a mini driver. Because a lot of times now, um, we don't really hit three woods into par fives hardly that often. And maybe if, if you're, there's only four chances you're going to get per day. It may not have them, but you could hit, could hit potentially a lot of three woods off tees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the T three wood is a weapon. Mm -hmm. So okay. as far as so shot, yeah. as far as well, this shot goes, I mean, what are you seeing? If I'm going to the front pin, yep, I probably need to choke down a little bit and then cut it, just because yep. my stock carry with this club is about two sixty five, and uh, with it being downwind, I'm gonna have to take some off of it. Now, by choking up on it, can you still hit it high enough? Mm -hmm. With a cut, I can. With a cut, okay. yeah, I struggle yep. a little bit if I want to draw it that way, yep, but yep. that's a pretty rare shot. Golf shot. Well done. Golf shot. Going on. Great shot. How many different shots would you have, Tiger, with your? With the like five, five wood, yeah. With the five wood, I can I I like a five wood that has options because I use it a lot for with not only I took it away I don't use a two iron that often anymore yeah. because it's changed. Um, but I love the five wood out of rough, chopping down on it. If say we're playing major, bigger tournaments with high rough, 170 yards out, I may open up a five wood and kind of chip one. Uh, I like having that option. Um, my five wood will carry about 255 but I can hit it either way. Yeah. I have a setup so I can hit it either way. Um, but I, I like it a lot to hit little chip shots out of out of rough primarily. 
So mm -hmm. I like a deeper face five wood. I don't like a shallow face five wood. Just feel like I, I, I might I might sky one <laughs> it went out of the rough <laughs> it, it roof it right off the top of the face. So my five was one of the older with the bigger, yeah. thicker face. I want to hit some chip shots out of rough now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I used to see you know like um, this is going back a ways when VJ won I think nine times in a year he put in um, either seven wood or nine wood. Uh, but opened it up to about a five wood loft and he would play this little 170 yard little chip shots out of rough It was awesome to watch Which at that time didn't exist. Yeah. No one played that shot uh, But no one really hits two irons anymore either because the ball doesn't spin enough So the five woods become a pretty important club to have in the bag Can you hit one to the left pin please guy? Yeah. yeah, what would you do with your, with a, if your there's a normal left pin? cut your normal cut? Would you cut it, hold with it, it being, into this wind? With it being downwind, I'd have to cut it. Okay. Because there's no real way for me to try to control the distance other than with it being downwind. If it was into the wind, I'd just try and hit it as high as I could. Mm -hmm. um, so to the left pin, I'd, I'd just have to play it, but I'd be playing towards the middle of the green. So it'd be a similar shot to the one I just hit. Look at this shot. Aww. Look how good this shot is. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Exhibition. It's pretty happy with that. You think? <laughs> Would you always prefer to be, um, so say there's that left pin there, but say like left of the green is fine. Would you still aim no, I for the not. green? Like you'd always prefer to be putting if you or would you like give it a go thinking you can hit the perfect shot and knowing the chip shot's easy anyway? I think you would be more, I would be more aggressive yeah. knowing that chip shot is yeah, easy yeah. because I mean, if it's a really long putt, like let's say, like the way this one looks to me, it looks like the left side is there's actually a bit mm -hmm. of room there. Whereas if I hit it and I overcut it to the right and it's long, it can kind of go off down that way into the sand. Yeah. And so just visually, it looks like I can be really aggressive with that left pin on this shot. I see it that I would, with that left flag, if I know that whatever club I would, I'd choose for that shot, I want to make sure that I know I can get to at least the front lip of that far left bunker. I can get on the upslope. Yeah. So whether it's just left of the green or it's in the middle of the green or it's in the bunker, that's fine. As long as I can get on that upslope, yeah. that's the club I'll, I'll choose. Yeah, Scotty, hit this one. No, you're going. Stop. I don't want to. I peaked. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, my coach, my coach Randy makes yeah. me practice like this sometimes. When I start hitting my three with a little bit off, he makes me practice like this. Should we go so, middle pin? Let's go middle pin. Make it a little easier. 280 middle pin, top shelf. Oh God, how good a trapper is that? Yeah, Sit. just got a golf sky. Great shot. All right, Tommy, now you get to hit out of that. <laughs> <laughs> great shot. That was a great Scotty, shot. Scotty, that was awesome, man. Three great shots. Can I see anything else? Chip shot out of the rough. Yeah, we need some rough now. Is it going over the bunker? Way. <laughs> no, I'm trying to see where, where we can play a shot. You can cut around that tree. I, I think gap, right? it's probably a decent example. Yeah. yeah. That's like perfect. Sit, yeah. So I'd set that face open like that. Just chop straight down on top of it. Almost like hitting um, a... When you, when you set it open like that, do you set it? I do set it and open. Then, and, and then, then grip I grip it. it. Yeah. So you've gone. It's almost like hitting a long, a long flop shot. Okay. <laughs> Basically, I mean, I'm aiming left, aiming way left, chopping down on top of it. And a best example would be like if you were going to hit a, a punch seven iron through the trees. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's how yeah. you'd play it. Okay. And just let the the meat of the club and all the size and the weight and the loft do all the work for you. So punch seven iron. Just chop straight down on top of it. It's awesome. See? Yeah, that was nice. 
I got to have another go. Uh, what is the worst lie you would go for? Uh, like, I'd still play it out of that. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Just face more open. Okay. And, and the further worst lie, just more and, 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 more, and more left, more open. Yeah. And just more, more, more of a punch shot. Okay. There. Oh yeah. See. Again, I, like 170 yards out, you pull out a wood, yeah. but no problem. Yeah. Right? I know that I could run this ball in, up into the face of that bunker and be in the upslope or happen to get it on a green grate, but I can get it up in the upslope where it's an easy yeah. pullable bunker shot. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got a three wood. I don't know if it works as good with a three wood. This is the fun part. So you're, yeah. you're just setting it open like this yes. and then gripping it. Just, just gripping it and just chopped on it, like, as I said, just like any a little punch cut seven iron around a tree. Exactly. Golf shot. See how easy that is? Golf shot. That is easy. Well done. Surprised how much you're actually able to get the ball to curve too out of that. Yeah. Because I mean, all, typically see, you can't yeah. get enough. No, but you know, all that mass is do, doing all the work for you getting through that grass. Oh, I love the punch seven iron shout. Like I'd be trying That's to do That's just all, a thought. Yeah, I'd be trying yeah. to do all sorts, trying to like figure it out. It's just such, simple. A, such a simple thought. Like, do you, What's your ball position? I'm, I'm, depends on how high I want to hit it but generally about normal. I would never really move it too far back in my stance uh, just because I wouldn't be able to get the ball in the air enough. That's about yeah. it. Yeah. But it is, that's just trial and error. But I just like that mass and that thought of just uh, just chipping it. I'm not, all I'm trying to do is chip it down there because I, I can't hit a four iron out of this stuff. Yeah. There's no chance. Or hitting a three iron out of this stuff, there's, there's no chance. But I can get a little chippy little five wood and then guide it up there uh, around the green where it's an easy chip or if not on the green. Yeah, that's cool. Easy enough. That was easy. cool. <laughs>